1075 Zoo FM. We are Missoula's number one hit music station. What up? I'm Nicole Wren, and I am lucky enough to be joined in the studio by a friend of mine. She also happens to be the new head coach for the University of Montana Grizz volleyball team. Her name is Allison Lawrence. She is amazing at what she does. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm lovely. So let's jump right in and talk about your season. So far, so preseason, there were a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but definitely some promising moments, and now you're in conference play. So what are some highlights? so far? I think an obvious highlight is we're coming off our first conference win against Weber State. We were down in Ogden and put together a really complete match. We had some breakout performances from some young players. So again, positive things I think happening in the future, but also just nice to see some breakthrough moments for the team and then for some individuals. So that was a highlight. And we've had moments that have mirrored that throughout the season, but haven't quite put that together since preseason. So yeah, you had like a big highlight is when you guys beat Long Beach State like that's a huge (laughs) win for you guys so kind of when you're talking to your girls do you remind them of like remember how you played in your mindset during Long Beach State and Weber State like how do you get them back to that place yeah those wins in preseason Long Beach State especially gave us a lot of confidence that we can be a good team and perform under pressure and we just we try to visualize those moments we try to recreate those in practice and I'm nothing but positive with our players I have unwavering belief in them so I think we get back to that place pretty frequently it's just putting that together for an entire match. So the other day I went to your guys' Sacramento State game with my brother Sean and some of our other friends were there because we all used to play volleyball so we we just have a huge love for the game and uh, you guys are a very young team. There's so much potential and it was a really fun game to watch. So how do you develop your younger players because you have a younger team? How do you develop them into the players that you know that they're going to be? I think the key for us is in practice putting them under a lot of pressure to where we get right up to that point of maybe a little bit less confidence, maybe a little bit of fear of can I push through and and execute when it's on the line so that if we do that in practice and we make the right decision in practice, we know come game time, we're not as stressed about that same decision. And I think that's just been the story of our season. We've gone right up to that point in a match and then somehow backed off or made a tentative decision, missed a serve, things like that. And then we've watched our aggression slip away. And I think just back to practice, let's work on that exact moment and then keep trying again. It was their first home game. The Sacramento State game was. And so it's like there's a lot of distractions. Your first home game, your first home crowd after being on the road for so long. Uh, So it kind of only makes sense that they were a little bit distracted. But they looked good, and there were a lot of really good highlights and, uh, and points to be proud of. So what are your overall goals for the season? Our goals for this season are to get better every day, and that's a cliche thing to say, but that's really our mentality is to learn in every moment, whether it's a high or a low, to give to our teammates. We want to be givers. We want to be playing for the person, the athlete next to us, playing for our fans, and really being the people and the competitors that we want to be long-term. And there are no quick fixes to success. If that leads to outcomes this season that we want, great. Um, But we believe that that is going to lead to better outcomes down the road so we've got our short-term vision and in place and we've just got to keep working towards our long-term vision as well totally so when's uh, everyone's next chance to catch a game 7 p.m friday we play unc it's going to be a great match and then we've got und the following night after the homecoming football game and so it's a great time you get in free after the football game with your football ticket um it's just a great time to get even more grizz on your saturday yeah you're already there you go to the homecoming parade in the morning the grizz football game in the afternoon then grizz volleyball of course at night to wrap up homecoming (laughs) saturday So you can find all the info on the Grizz Volleyball team, including their schedule up online right now, 1075zoofm.com. So Allison Lawrence is the new head volleyball coach for the Grizz. We really look forward to watching the team progress and see kind of where they end up this season. So good luck. Thank you so much for coming on, Allison. And we'll be right back on 1075zoofm.